Hi guys, today I'm going to uh, show the proof of A star optimality or some generic algorithm optimality. It also works for some generic algorithm optimality. So let's begin. First definition of optimality. What is optimality? Optimality just means uh, algorithm is optimal if it comes up or if it ends with an optimal solution if one exists. That's the definition of optimal. And before we go to the proof, we need two cases or two conditions on the state space. First is the local finiteness and the second is the lower bound on edge cost. <coughs> Let's uh, begin with this proof, uh, sorry, with this condition. So first the local finiteness. Uh, local finiteness just means there are finite number of child, for example. This is a parent node and these are the childs and let's say there are n number of child and n should be a finite number that's it local finite just means you have finite number of child and lower bound on its cost is uh, so let let me explain with some example let's say this is a finite path with source and the goal node and let's say the cost of this path is 2 but there can be a condition where we may never reach the goal node even we follow the optimal path so the condition is this let's say the first edge is one the second edge is one by two the cost of second edge the cost of third edge is one by four and the cost of fourth edge is one by eight and so on that means no matter how far we go there will be always an edge which is half the earlier edge half the cost of the earlier edge like so this means it is a really infinite series where no matter how far we go finite number of times the cost the overall cost will be always less than two and it will be only two if we go infinitely long so if there are only infinite is then only the cost will be two because this is a series of one plus one by two uh, sorry one plus one divided by two to the power i and <clears throat> the whole series will be two if i is infinite so if i is infinite then we never reach the goal node that's the condition and we have to avoid such condition and we avoid such condition by introducing a new <coughs> condition called lower bound edge cost this is the lower bound on edge cost let's say c is the cost of the edge if c is the cost of the is <coughs> then we say c will be always greater or equals to or delta which is a finite number which is strictly greater than zero so delta is just some finite number which can have any finite value like 1 0 0.005 or 0 0.005 doesn't matter any finite number but the point is if delta is some finite number then we can't go infinitely small like we can't have this kind of series because <coughs> if uh, let's say delta is some finite number let's say 0 0.001 one very small number but if we add that number or uh, infinite number of times then cost will be more than two and it will go to the overall cost will be zero uh, sorry infinite that means <coughs> if we just put delta to some value limit delta to some value then we have a finite number of a's from source to the destination node because if, if we don't have this condition so this is very important delta should be strictly greater than zero not greater or equals to zero because if it is greater or equal to zero then we can again have the same series which is which will decrease infinitely and we will never reach the <coughs> goal node even though the overall path cost is two so <coughs> this is the two conditions and we begin with the proof let's assume <coughs> c is the optimal solution c is the optimal solution and uh, in such a uh, optimal solution how many paths how many number of a's can be there sorry uh, so we, we have to prove in two way first we have to prove we can reach the goal node when we start from the source node then we can reach the goal node 
and the proof is just straight forward forward as I told earlier let's say n is the maximum is in such kind of path sorry this is capital C correct it okay correct it so let's say n is the maximum is in such path then <coughs> the maximum the value of n will be the ceiling of C which is the optimal solution divided by delta what is delta delta is the lower bound on the edge cost that is the minimum cost that a edge can have so this is the maximum number of edge that means since c is a finite it is finite delta is finite so c by delta the ceiling of c by delta is also finite that means there are a finite number of edges uh, that means we can reach goal node when we start from the source node Now, the second thing we have to prove is there are finite number of such path and we prove by induction. There are finite number of such path having this n edges. And to prove by induction, first we just prove for n equals to 1. And for n, n equals to 1, it is quite obvious. As we knew already from local finiteness condition, any node has finite number of childs. Right? So if it is source and if this is the child node, then there are finite number of childs. That means there are also finite number of such edges. And the length of this edge is 1. So that is. So there are finite number of edge of length 1. Sorry, there are finite number of paths of length 1. Because, once again, because this is source, this is a child. Since there are finite number of child, so there are finite number of edges pointing to the child and the length of each edge is 1 that means there are no finite number of path of length 1 in such condition now <coughs> we suppose it is also true for n and we have to prove it will be true for n plus 1 and how to prove is <coughs> since we already suppose it is true for n that means there are finite number of path uh, of length n having number of is n finite number of path with number of is and is finite once again there are finite number of path with number of is and is finite that we supposed <coughs> that means this is so we so there are finite number of such paths this dot dot just means there are several nodes in the middle <coughs> now let's concentrate the end nodes of such path okay these end nodes may have child or may not have child in worst case they may have child if they have child then also they have finite number of childs because of this local finiteness if this guy has a child then this will be finite if this guy has child then this will be also finite so since all the parents are finite and all the childs of the parent are finite childs of each parents are finite that means this whole thing is also finite that means overall number of child is also finite this means this is of length one because it is immediate child so length is one that means the whole thing is finite the path of length n plus n n plus 1 is also finite because the whole node is finite the whole child is finite that means this plus this is n plus 1 this up to here plus this is also n plus 1 that means there are finite number of path of length n plus 1 so we proved there are finite number of path of length n plus 1 that means our algorithm can always choose one path out of those finite path because if there are finite number of path then we can always traverse through all these path and choose one that means we can always end with one path then we return up one path before the algorithm ends hence we prove optimality 
and you can find this slide in the description also.